this is what I want to know. Does every metal detector's car look like this in the back? <laughs> if I cleaned my car, it would be a hopeless ex exercise. It would look like this again in two days. Does your car look like this? Okay, I'm going to try something new today. I probably am not getting anything on film here. I've got the GoPro on my head today instead of my chest. Also not sure how that's going to work out sound-wise. I also have my headphones on because where I am there are some people in an adjacent building and I don't want to be creating a disturbance. So I did my ground balance. I am in park mode. There's a lot of noise here. I don't know that it's signals. It's more like just interference noise. But First signal I have. I can already tell this camera thing is not going to work. So I'm going to turn it off. And go back to the chest thing. I seem to be stuck in wide angle. I don't know if that's just the way it's supposed to be or what. I've been totally unable to change it to anything else. Uh, I started this with the camera on my head. It was very uncomfortable. And I had no way of really seeing what I was focused on. So let me pick my gear up here. Like I said, we are using the headphones today. I don't like them, but I kind of got to it. So, let's see what we're, see if I can get any better with this camera. It's very uncomfortable, truth be told. And I've actually unhooked one of the straps just because, uh, because it digs into me, but when I do that, the camera is not stable, so I'm going to have to reconnect that and learn to live with it. Alright, I'm all fixed up, except for every time I try to stoop down, I get very unflattering photographs. I guess that's what editing's for. I'm going to pull you up here. I don't like it where it was. I had no control. All right. We're still doing camera tests, folks. Right now, I'm bouncing better than a trampoline. There must be just a tremendous amount of trash out here or something. I'm in the park I've been to one or two other times with different detectors and now that I think about it I remember there was an awful lot of trash here. This is first time with the simplex. I have started out in park mode but I may be switching very quickly to field or something else. It's just there's so many signals I can't even isolate one. It's like hopscotch. I actually have one that's between 63 and 74 and seems to be by itself. So I'm going to give this a go. Let's see if anything at all comes of it. My guess is going to be no. But anyway, I end up actually having to hold the camera even though I have it on something. Just because it, I can't see it any other way. I can't tell what I'm filming. And and I think the signal that I originally thought was so great is just this pole. 
so we're going to skip that too. All right now I got, oh that hurt my foot. Oh yes it did. I have a 19 that's jumping a little bit, but that, it wasn't jumping until I dropped my shovel. So 18, 19. This simplex, it started out my pennies were at, or my nickels were at 23, but lately they've been at 19. So I'm going to see what this is. Man, that hurt my toe. I'll tell you about my toe someday. <sighs> According to the world, it's right here. And it, it seems kind of big, so I'm not counting on that being a nickel. I'm more voting for that being trash. <sighs> I'm having a hard time moving today, folks. Y'all just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> I do have troubles from time to time, but I'm out here today because our weather report is indicating that the entire rest of the week is going to be rain. So, with that, I thought if I was going to do anything this week, it was pretty much going to have to be today. So here we are, out and about. There's a lot of roots right here. I may have just a nail or a, a tab of some kind. I'm seeing a lot of garbage looking stuff here. Well, now I've moved it a little bit, apparently. I think it's trash. Yes, I found half of an old beaver tail. So that pretty much was trash. Like I said though, the signals have been jumping so much since I got this machine that I am digging a wide range just to find anything. I mean, I'm finding a lot of stuff. I, I don't want it to sound like I'm not because I have found more clad in the month that I have had this machine than the almost year I had the Garrett 300. So I am not complaining at all about the simplex. Oh, this is going to be an easy one. I don't even have to dig for this one. I can see it on the ground. We have a quarter. I'm happy about that. I always like to not get skunked. It's a recent one. It's a 1993. But nonetheless, that's something to take home with us. This was a super jumpy signal. It, it was everywhere, and I don't really know for sure why I chose to dig it, but mostly because I'm kind of doing a dig everything mode lately. I'm betting on can. I am, I'm betting on can. It has been raining the past couple days. Well, it's not can. I'm not sure what it is. It's just a big piece of metal. I had it in my hand and then I dropped it. So, yeah. So, yeah, it's just a... It used to be part of something. But 
it's not now part of the pollution I got a feeling there might be another chunk of it down in there but right there's still something else in this hole that might not be that but there is definitely another item it's pretty far down compared to this one and I think it's just another piece of that yeah, whatever it is, it's out, and it's more of the same. So, we'll be closing that little hole back up. And whatever else is in there, no doubt more of the same. So, this is something different over here. <laughs> different, different hole. I guess I'm not quite done with this spot yet. Just done with there. But like I said, there's so much junk in this park. Uh, apparently now I've lost it completely. this yeah, whatever it is supposed to be right there I'm not seeing anything oh I know when to quit it's like a poker game I fold I go for this as a live dig. I don't know why. It bounced between 19 and 23, which is my customary. Oh, so sorry, folks. My customary nickel signal with this detector lately. The attempt to make a plug is futile <laughs> and it is not a nickel it is a folded in half piece of an old beaver tail pull tab maybe there's something else in there I kind of doubt it that was all it gave me I'm waiting to see if somebody's going to come growl at me here. I'm in a park, but there's a old school next to it that's used for a, a city civic area. And they seem to be having some type of a meeting in there this morning. So I'm hoping I'm not going to have an issue. If I do, I have a camera on. We will record it. We're getting the screaming. 66, 67, 68. Uh, those are usually penny signs on this machine. So I'm going to go for this one too. I hope. And there's my little target. And we will 
see if I can follow this through without too many shots of my knees, elbows, or other parts of my body that are best not left photographed. Oops. See, I'm having a bad time trying to make a plug out of that. It, it just disintegrates. It just falls right apart. And I was right. There is a penny in there. We have gotten out. He is definitely a newer model. 1990 something. Something, something. I'm going to check and see if there's anything else in there because I was getting a ratty signal, but it was a zincan and they do that sometimes. So I'm not getting anything else. I'm going to fill it back up. I'll run the detector back over it too, just to satisfy my curiosity. <clears throat> Silence is golden, or in this case, it's not. I was bouncing between 19 and 21 here, all up 22, 21, under what used to be a basketball hoop. I don't think it's been a basketball hoop for some time now. digging this because it's a range for nickels on the simplex. I'd be happy with a nickel. I'd be happier with a ring. But I might not get either one of those things. Looks like I'm gonna get foiled again by a Fergie flipper. If you have not watched my other videos, you might not know what a Fergie flipper is. Uh, you'll just have to go back and find the one that tells you. I'm not going to tell the story in every, every single uh, episode here. But there is something besides the Fergie Flipper in this hole. Oh, and there's a worm. I'm sorry, Mr. Worm. I'm so sorry. Did not mean to displace you from your home. The ground is very, very wet, and it still will not stay as a plug. It just falls apart here. And I'm like, I have also said in my previous videos, I don't dig to China because I can't bend my knees very well. And I have to bend over with my knees slightly bent to dig. I don't dig too deep. Well, boy, that was a double header. Not only did we get a Fergie flipper, got a pop top too. Man, nice way to gang up on me, garbage. Let me just fill this bag up, move along. I'm gonna guess this is gonna be junk. I have dug a couple other junks in my path. I'm working my way towards a tot lot. This danced around in the 60s. Come to think of it, so did I. Uh, but that was a whole different life. Uh, it could be a penny, and it could just be some some little trash. So, let's see. A lot of worms. Well, if anybody want to go fishing, right now would be a good time in Georgia to pick you up some free bait. Mm -hmm. 
not there yet. Oops, I think it's gonna be a can or a big, big rock. No, no, we found money. We did find coinage in here. Tis a penny of the semi-modern variety. It's new enough to have a memorial on it, but probably old enough not to be copper. It's an 87. Oh well, we'll take it. Oh, I for digging a whole bunch of garbage, trash and stuff. I, this is still not the best signal, but whatever it is, it's in this half of the, the plug. So I'm trying to isolate it. And I'm pretty sure it's nothing, but since everything here has been nothing. Eh, here's one more pull tab. I'm telling you, this place does not like me. Uh, I'm going to do this little pot lot right up here. And then I think I'm going to give this place up. It is pretty much unproductive. I didn't even turn the camera on for this because it was pretty deep. And I really didn't think there was anything there. But I did finally kick a coin out, which I think is a dime. It's kind of green. <laughs> It's definitely Mr. Rosie Velt, but is it oldie or newie? Mm. 19 something something. And I guess they're a lot of them are 19 something something. I don't think this is even 19 something something. How in the world this dime got all the way down there and it's a 2006? I do not know. And it's about the only thing I have found here, besides the quarter we started out with. So, I'm going to finish this little tot lot. And I got a couple other locations that I think might produce something a little more exciting. There you go. I got another tot lot pit going. It's uh, it's another one that I don't know if there's anything in here. It's just there's nothing else happening in this place. That didn't sound good. Of course, we have a lot of rocks that sound like that. That's, I may or may not have moved it. It doesn't look like it. And I don't really want to spend a whole ton of time here looking. It's hard to dig this today. And I think that's some kind of metal object. I don't think that's a rock. I don't know what it is. But it's not a rock, and I might even be able to get it out. Uh, or not. Whatever it is, it's iron. And it's right there. I just can't get all the dirt out of it. The more dirt I move, the more it rolls back into the hole. It's kind of like digging at the beach. I have that issue there too. Ow, I don't want to don't want to hurt myself. I don't know what it is. I'm just trying to get a shape. Uh, all right. Whatever it is, it's big. And it's a chunk of metal and it's no longer in the playground. Other than that, I can't tell you much. Uh, gave me a sound that sounded like a nickel. Uh, oh well, we'll get it out of here. 
so the kid doesn't get hurt. And now I'm going back to the car. I'm filthy. I don't even want to touch the camera. Yeah, this location is pretty much of a bust. Uh, I think I found a quarter and a dime and maybe a couple pennies, a whole lot of trash. It wasn't the location I wanted to do, but there's some activities going on where I wanted to be. So I'll have to come here another day for that. It's just another part of the same basic complex. Uh, I'm guessing it's some sort of President's Day thing. So I'm just going to sit here for a minute and have some water and figure out the next plan of attack, which is going to include washing my hands. And I saw something nobody in the South is going to want to hear about. Love bugs are back. They shall be swarming us at any time now. Oh, the nasty little things. I do not love the love bug. I stopped at another location on my way home. Uh, just because I hate to go home feeling skunked. And even though I wasn't totally skunked at the last place, it kind of felt like I was. You know, the, the quarter was a surface find and really not much else surfaced. I'm just going to walk around this park a little bit. I'm going to try to leave you on and kind of do a battery test, actually. This is a hard place to detect because in its day, it had a lot of uh, electrical boxes all over the place where people could plug in their stuff, which is really cool, but that means there's dead wires under everything. As far as I know, they're dead. I really don't want to find out. Uh, there's another park up the road that's the same way. Uh, I'll show you some of them here. I'm going to walk over here. I don't like to detect around them because I don't really know where the wires go and I don't know if they're live or dead. I'm assuming at this point they're dead, but I don't know about that. As you can see, there are one, two, three, four, five, six. There's several of them scattered around this park. I don't know that they're live anymore, but I don't want to find out, so we won't be detecting near them. I've never really come down to this part of the park before. Should have put my headphones on and I didn't. I'm gonna play here for a minute. Just for a minute. Don't know that it's gonna do anything, but. It may not be as far down as the signal says, simply because we get a lot, we got a lot of pine. It's one of the reasons I, I love this digger. It has these little prongs on the end. They're really good for scraping stuff away. It's, it's a favorite. Really a gardening tool. Yep. Got my situation. I forgot to do that. Try again. All right. oh, this must really be as far down as as it says. So I don't know if I want to dig it or not. 
it's jumpy jumpy and don't seem to be able to really focus. I don't know. We may just have to go home. I think my battery's going dead. Well, there will be no skunk. I can't film much. The battery's going dead pretty quick. Bet I got a penny. We'll see what else. Eh, a little park just produced another dime. I think I found a penny between the last time I turned on the camera. I'm going around a basketball court that I've been around several times, and then I'm going to go home. It's starting to get wet and cold, and I don't need to be in that. Here, I'm just going to hunt a few more minutes. Unless I find something totally fabulous, you'll just see the rest in the wrap-up. Well, here's our wrap-up. Uh, the battery did go dead on the camera at the second location. And I did end up digging quite a bit of change. And I ended up making a very quick exit as I was digging up the last nickel. I heard this shuffling behind me. I turned around and there was this old wino looking dude shuffling across the basketball court. Scared the out of me. So at that point I decided it was definitely time to go home. I didn't even finish digging whatever that last coin was. So anyway, here's the roundup from the first location. Uh, it was really bad that we're starting on the left here. A big chunk of wadded up aluminum foil, a Fergie flip, and if you don't know why I call uh, bottle liners Fergie flips, well, you'll have to watch another video and find out. Uh, some can slaw, some pull tabs, a couple of pieces of iron or steel or something. Oops. They actually have, you can hear how heavy that is, some kind of markings on the outside of them. I, th I think they're just some, some type of a pipe, piece of a pipe or something. And I got a vape thing, one quarter, uh, one dime, and two pennies. So you can see why I left there. At the second park where I was showing you all the electrical boxes and stuff, uh... I found a phone cord. I don't know if it works or not. It's not for the type of phone I have. Uh, a bunch of can and caps and wadded up pieces of metal. Uh, surface found a hair tie, some pull tabs. Got the end of a pen. Uh, three dimes, a nickel, and 13 pennies. Yeah, so it was a a day of visiting funky old parks and finding funky old stuff. Uh, I will tell you that the video I released with the gold crucifix ring was actually filmed right after this. I stopped at that school on my way home from this misadventure and ended up finding that 14 karat gold ring. So the day was a good day. It just, the beginning of it, most of it wasn't that great. And then at the end it turned around. So that's, that's the wrap up folks. Thank you once again for watching. I know this was a, a camera test video. So there's a lot of boring stuff in there, but it will get better, I promise. <laughs> It's just going to take me some time to learn how to use all this equipment. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you want to support us, uh, I've got a Patreon account. You can make a monthly donation. We've got a PayPal for one-time donations. Also have an Instagram page and a Facebook page. I don't really do Twitter, but we may make one of those too. So that's all the news that's fit to print. This is Susie Q96. Thanks for watching. <laughs>
Yeah. 